which here arts by Dylan.com. I thought I would share with you a little bit of the family talk I had this morning with my dad. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you would see that uh, I've been making a lot of m movies, videos uh, of me talking to camera. <clears throat> it's like a mentally ill attempt to bring sanity to the internet. Um, so, but this morning, my dad made a comment. Every morning we read the news on our iPads uh, over a cup of coffee. And we're, my, my dad made a comment about the, the world being wacky. Like, society's kind of all messed up. And I was like, yeah, it is kind of messed up. Uh, back when you were uh, in Vietnam, like in college, like in 1968, you don't want to go kill people and you don't want to go die in Vietnam or, you know, go to war in Vietnam. And you went out and protested, and, uh, you know, like many of your generation, against the people, you know, in charge, the older generation. And the older generation's uh, like opinion on your feelings about the Vietnam War, pretty much everything else, was that, uh, you know, if they were interested in hearing what your feelings and opinions are about any of the issues going on at the time, they would tell you what your feelings and opinions are at, about what's going on at the time. Um, and then quickly dismiss them as uh, irrelevant information to their lives and continue making the same decisions that they've been making, which is how that basic, old, basic history has been. Like, the boomer generation had a whole bunch of pro problems with society from, like, 1965 to, like, 1971. And, uh, yeah, the people in charge had the attitude of, like, well, you know, We'll tell you what your opinion is and we'll tell you what your feelings are and uh, you don't matter right <clears throat> then the boomers became you know that was like a life lesson nowadays in 2020 the boomers have all retired and every single feeling and opinion and belief has to be like validated and talked about and sympathized and like agreed upon and discussed and mentally health challenged into a mental health problem that's like not a problem like that's not addressing the actual mental illness that's causing like addressing it, like if it's an actual problem but just like validating that feeling and they just it just it's just like constant talking about opinions and feelings and sympathy and empathy like everybody like it needs to be more empathy every like we need to be more loving to each other like we need to get along with each other. like every single thing even the most minor dumbest crap becomes like the biggest thing on twitter like this person said this 10 years ago and like this like who cares your opinion about what someone else said 10 years ago and how you feel about it today is like not a fucking thought in my head right now like i don't care about that so that's my, like, you know, uh, I, I guess you see I get a little irritated at today's way in which Gen X, uh, Gen Z, Millennials, have uh, are running the show. I almost feel like the life lesson boomers have is, like, one that should be taught to, like, the, pro the, the generations in charge now that, like, just got, like, they... The way, what they're doing isn't working so great, right? Anyway, uh, quick video. That's my thoughts. I hope this helped. Uh, adios. Enjoy the Giants game. I'm going to go watch and play the Padres. See ya.